Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. This time it is the CU34G2XP. This is a 34 inch ultra wide gaming monitor from AOC. Okay then, so let's get some CSGO gameplay done on this monitor. Now, uh, I am going to actually just play it in practice mode because I do not want to interrupt anyone's gameplay. Right, so, here we go. Right, so, right below in the corner, it's like 300-400 FPS. Oh! 400 FPS, it looks nice, it feels lovely and smooth. Nice. Feels lovely and smooth. It's got adaptive sync, so at least then you wouldn't have to worry about any tearing. I don't see any shadows. Easily 400 FPS on this, so I'm definitely utilizing the monitor's capabilities, and it looks great as well. Best thing about an ultra wide, of course, is you've got a lot of real estate, especially if you're watching films. There's a lot of real estate on this monitor to use. 
Now I have got this set on medium. If you want more FPS, of course, you would have to uh, turn down the the details to get a better, well, basically more FPS. But this feels great. Have that. Right then. So let's get some different games on this monitor. Right then, so this is some City Skylines 2. Now, what I will say is because of the overall 34 inches, it does give you this immersion that you get with a very big monitor. Now, if you zoom in, as you can see, now because it's a lot wider than most monitors, it gives you that awesome angle at each point. Now, no, the brightness isn't the best. This is actually a full brightness. It's not the brightest monitor. The contrast isn't the best. But then again, this is a £380 gaming monitor from AOC. And generally, their monitors are actually very good when it comes to the price. Especially the budget stuff anyway. So, what I'm going to do now is show you a couple of things. Now, yeah, there's no sound because the speakers on this monitor actually sound very bad. So, I just turned the speakers off. Now, this is City Skylines, which is a very demanding CPU-based game. That's why I picked it, because this will push any system to its knees, because it's very CPU-dependent, but also GPU. And to be honest, this actually is playing very smooth. Yeah, not very high frame rate for this type of monitor, but it still looks fantastic at this monitor spec. Now, when you're looking for a gaming monitor, this might be oh, for a console. This isn't going to be that monitor for you because HDMI is only 100 hertz, which unfortunately is going to be a downfall for console gamers. But £380, if you want a monitor that's specifically made for console gaming, AOC certainly does have options there for you. They do do a lot of different models of gaming monitors. I've looked at a f quite a few of their monitors over the last two years, or the last year or so mainly. And they've got a lot of different options. I'll make sure to leave the link for that in down in the description so you guys can take a look at your for yourself. But other than that, this is very nice. I like the overall immersionness of this month immersion because look at that. That looks fun. Fantastic. So, yeah. Right then, so you saw some CSGO gameplay as well as City Skylines 2 gameplay. Now, what I will say for this monitor at a hundred uh, for £380, it's not bad. The colour, the the contrast, the brightness isn't the best. Now, when it comes to if you're looking for this for a specific like a console. Unfortunately, at HDMI, it is only at eight, uh, 100 hertz. So, that's going to limit your gaming when it comes to console gaming. But, other than that, the immersive size of it, the overall, a lot of USB ports at the back. Yeah, the speakers, they don't sound the best. They actually sound quite a tinny. But, if you're going to buy a monitor, I guess, I'd recommend you buying a good set, a nice headset or some nice speakers. Now, the overall size, 34 inches, that is kind of the sweet spot when it comes to gaming, really. Resolution, maybe not. I'm not a fan of 3440 by 1440. I prefer 2560 by 1440, but that's just me. Now, the menu on this monitor, it's exactly the same monitor, uh, exactly the same interface as my monitor that I got, so very easy. But then again, you can control everything through G, G menu as well. So, yeah. Now, look, it's got loads of USB. It's got display. It's got HDMI. Remember, the HDMI is only 100 hertz, unfortunately. The stand, everything is very easy to assemble. You could do this by yourself. And, of course, it's 180 hertz with a 1 millisecond response. And, of course, it's 34 inches with a nice big curve. So, yeah. Look, if you're looking for an ultra-wide game monitor that isn't going to break the bank then i suggest looking at the link down below and have a look at yourself uh, for yourself at the aoc website i'll leave a link for the aoc website as well as a link for the monitor if you want to 
purchase it or not so as always i hope you guys have a fantastic week and a weekend ahead of you this is rich from welsh tech don't forget to subscribe because i've got loads of stuff coming and i'll see you in the next one good bye